Today's video, I'm going to show you three simple ways to wear eyeshadow. Hey everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lisa Monique, where we cover all things beauty and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. So I am back in my bathroom in Florida. We have completely packed out our house in Arizona. Everything's in a pod. We don't have a place to live yet. I haven't even looked for a place to live. So we're going to be in the limbo. So I will say for the next couple of months, I'm going to be mixing all kinds of videos, short videos, vlogs, um, and then occasional the full videos because I am such a mess right now. <laughs> and so uh, also we decided to move in October, but we had a lot of trips planned, uh, trips Palm Spring to the Paribus Open, first week of March, going skiing next week. We've got all these things planned that kind of interrupt the flow of me just being organized, finding a place to live, and getting settled. So I'm going to be very unsettled <laughs> for the next couple of months. But I did want to get out this quick video today on three simple ways to wear eyeshadow. Now I am using eyeshadows from this Z palette that I put together. So these are all, some of these are MAC, some of these are from the Perfect Face, but these are all individual eyeshadows. And I am just using them from here because I know that these shimmers that I'm going to use have a lot of contrast and so you'll be able to see them on my eyes. But you can do this look with any sort of eyeshadow palette that you may have. You just need a medium shade, a shimmer shade and a dark shade. So you're just going to need three eyeshadow colors. And in this palette, I am going to be working with the golds and browns. So I am going to be using this light brown here. This is from the Perfect Face, just in case you want to know the shades. This one is called Warm Brownie. Then I'm going to be using this gold shimmer here, which is called also the perfect face, it's called Radiant. And then I'm going to take a dark brown and I might go, this is kind of a cooler, cooler brown down here, or should I go warmer? You know what, I think I'm just gonna take this brown here. And this one is called Corduroy. I'm gonna use Corduroy, Radiant, and Warm Brownie up to show you how I'm going to do these simple eyeshadow looks. And these are very, very simple looks. They're very fast to do. They are pretty much how I wear my eyeshadow <laughs> all the time. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I do have to need some little swabs to take off my eye makeup in between and some eye makeup remover. I've got my Sephora. Oh, this is the micellar water. I've got some Sephora micellar water. Okay, so the first way you can where your eyeshadow is, you know, really what I call the one and done look. And so I am just going to take my shimmer shade. I'm going to look over here. My mirror is over here, so I apologize. I've got this big giant one so I can see. This is how I put my makeup on <laughs> with a giant magnifying mirror that I get from um, Amazon. And I just suction cup it to my bathroom mirror almost needs no explanation, a simple one and done look. Sometimes I call it a one and done look, but after I apply my shimmer to my lid, which usually I'm using kind of a rose gold because I do love the rose colors, but they're very subtle. But after I do this, then I'm just going to take my neutral medium brown shade and I'm just going to apply it right up in the transition area, just right here. And that's just gonna kind of soften the line where I go from the gold to my natural. Now, I have some color that I like, my natural skin tone, but if I didn't, you could use a highlight color if you wanted to highlight under your brow, but I don't usually feel the need to do that. So this is just a simple one and done eyeshadow look, even though I finished it off with two. Now, to make it a little bit different, I will do a simple medium shade over the whole lid. Then I'm going to put 
the shimmer on the inner two thirds and then the darker shade on the outer third. So I'm gonna do that on this eye. Again, really simple. I'm gonna use on my refer big brush. Oh yeah, it's the number 33, yeah. So the refer number 33, I like a big flat brush because it makes things really simple. It covers the whole lid kind of in one fell swoop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that transition shade and put it all over my eye. Maybe I'll just take a mirror and hold it in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to do that and put it over my whole lid minus underneath the brow. So I'm going to just kind of keep that little highlight portion underneath the brow. And I'm just going to soften the edge with my fingertips. So that is my neutral shade, my medium color shade all over my lid. And then I'm just going to go in with the shimmer shade and put it on the inner two thirds. So if I'm opening my eye, it will go the inner white and then it will be over the pupil. And some shimmer shades have a lot of fall off. So you really want to press those into your eye instead of a sweeping motion. If you're using a creamier shadow, you can get away with sweeping the color. But if you have um, one that has, like I said, a little bit of fall off or a little bit of shimmer, a uh, pressing will help prevent you from getting all the eye shadow underneath your eye. So I'm just going to press it on two thirds like this. And then using the same brush, because I tend to use the same brush a lot, I'm just going to wipe off the excess on a towel that I have uh, right here on my counter. And then I'm going to take the darker shade, that's really dark, and I am going to press it on the outer third. So the outer third would be from the outside of my iris all the way out. So sometimes I think people will just do just almost the outer fourth, which is fine depending on your eye shape. But I like the outer third because it actually is noticeable. <laughs> it's noticeable that I've got uh, some a darker shade on my outer third, which kind of lifts and opens. Now I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. I really didn't put any more eyeshadow on, but you could use your initial transition color again. And then I'm just going to kind of soften that edge up at the top. And so, whereas this might be a daytime look, and I know this is not the prettiest color for a daytime look, uh, but you can see it, then I would have the two-tone, maybe just meeting some friends out uh, in the evening for a happy hour or something like that. I would do just that kind of light, light look. Again, really simple. Makeup doesn't have to be complex. Um, I, I sometimes think that people watch videos and they watch, I mean, beautiful application. I mean, just amazing blending, you know, the transitions are so gorgeous. And then they're sitting there forever trying to figure out why they can't do the same on their eyes. And I don't know why you can't always do the same, but I think you can have the same effect because nobody else is going to be looking at your eye up close. So you can have the same effect um, rather easily. Uh, so you just want to use the right shade. So you want to make sure that, you know, there's a lot of contrast between your lid shade and your outer corner shade if you want to get that look with just a little bit of extra emphasis on the outer third. Now, of course, what I would be doing is I would be taking a small brush. This is just a flat brush. And I would also be putting it as liner because I have to have my liner. 
and then I would be smudging it nice and light and then come back in and kind of pressing it into the lash line on the top. And because it's the same brown that I've used on the outer corner, I can be just a little bit messier um, with the application. And then if I curled my eyelashes using my Ruffer Eyelash Curler, I haven't talked about it in a while. Oh, last year, maybe the year before, I always talk about how much I love my Ruffer Eyelash Curler because it's a little bit wider than um, a lot of the other silver ones that I get, you know, like the Revlon or the Shumera. And so it actually gets from the inner corner to my outer eye, you know, in one squeeze. So I'm not doing half of it and then the other half. All right, I'll just put a little bit of my Beyond Mascara. Oops, I got some on my eye. Now once I put my mascara on, especially since I put it on my under uh, lower lashes, I kind of put my finger there and blink a couple of times just to get that excess mascara off so I don't end up with mascara underneath my eyelashes. And I'm just gonna take my finger and soften any edges. So again, another thing that I think people feel like they have to master the blending with a brush, which is great if you can, but for someone like me that the more I blend with the brush, I, I don't know, it just kind of spreads and I get a bigger, muddier mess. I'm just using my little pinky to soften out a little edge that might be rough or too dark. Um, works really nice <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't, muddy the colors as much. So that's what I like to do. This is a simple eyeshadow look just with a light color and then a darker color on the edge. Now the third look, I'm just going to take off this one and done look. Now the third way to wear the eyeshadow is called a halo. It's what I've heard it uh, called, and that is basically you're just going to put the shimmer over your iris. Again, I'm just going to take the medium shade and I'm going to put it all over my eye. This shade is a really good shade for my skin tone right now because it is truly neutral and it almost works like as a powder, but it's just a really nice transition shade for me. But I'm going to make sure I get it in the little corner because sometimes I find, especially with me, because I have that um, I have that slight Asian overlap of the skin right here, so sometimes my shadow doesn't get into that corner, so I have to make sure I don't miss it, like I'm missing it right here. All right, so now I've just got a very general neutral base. Then I am going to actually go to my darker shade next and put it on the outer third. Again, I love this because this is really the width of my iris. This is the number 33 rougher. Um, it is the width, so it actually is like a third, a third of my eye. So I can just kind of pat it on. And now there are two ways to do it. You, you can use the same darker shade on the inside, which I'm going to do today, which is a little bit more of a night look, or you could kind of keep it a neutral so that you go from a neutral to the shimmer to the darker. But I am going to um, use the darker shade on both the outer and the inner third. Now, if you have very round eyes, you don't want to do this because it's going to just make your eyes look even more round. But if you have like almond eyes, or, you know, hooded eyes and everything like that, it can make the center look wider and, and make your eyes look more open. But this is not the right eyeshadow for round eyes. And I've kind of closed it off a little bit, but that's okay because I'm going to apply that shimmer right over it. And then you're gonna take the shimmer shade and put it right in the center. And you can do it with a brush, which is more subtle, or if you want it really intense, you can do it with your finger. 
which is what I think looks best with a halo look. Then I am just I'm wiping my brush clean and then I'm just going to kind of soften all the edges. And when I'm softening the edges on the halo, I'm just going to tap. I'm kind of just using the side of the brush and I'm just tapping the lines. I'm not smudging it because I don't want to move the color. So I'm just going to tap the lines and then reapply in the center as needed. And then I'm not really putting it up on the transition. So it really is just staying on my lid. Do the same, soften the edges with my fingertip. Curl the lashes. Oops, I should have put the eyeliner on first. Apply some liner. And I do the halo more in the evening, like if I'm going out. I feel like even though it's the same two colors, it's more dramatic when it's only in the center. Also, just use the brush with just a little bit of the neutral color to soften the top. Okay, I'll do the rest of my makeup really quick and be right back to show you the two different eyes. Actually, I'll just do my makeup while I'm videotaping. I'm using the True Match. I know I just did a video on the new True Match. I really have been enjoying it. And so, and it's a good mat, a good color match for me right now. So that's what I'm using. Now I don't usually need a lot of concealer. I usually use the concealer just more for covering hyperpigmentation than necessarily under my eyes. So I just, you know, will put the foundation there, but if you need more coverage under your eyes, then you will want to put your, found, uh, your concealer there and then finish it with the foundation. Blush, I'm just going to be using my old makeup on Mario, which was a favorite of mine, I think in 2021, the earthly, earthy pink. And then I bought so much other makeup, I just hadn't pulled it out. But now that I've pulled it out again, I remember why I like it so much. I love this color. And lipstick, I will just use, this is Painterly by Lisa Eldridge. It's a little brown, but I guess that would be good for night. Maybe I'll cover it with a little bit lighter gloss. Uh, so this one is an affair, and this is Lisa Eldridge's lip gloss. It's still a warm tone, but it'll lighten up the painterly. And just powder just a little bit using my Charlotte Tilbury. Airbrush Flawless Powder. And this is it. So you can see the halo is much more dramatic and more suited towards night. Uh, but just the darker outer corner is a very nice day to evening look. And it's really simple. And you can do it with any three eyeshadows. Again, I was just kind of using the gold because I'm sitting kind of far away from the camera and if I used my typical pinks and rose golds, um, I don't think you would see them. So um, I just wanted you to be able to see the difference of the eyeshadow. But I really do love using browns and golds too. So anyway, that's it for my video, Three Simple Ways to Wear Eyeshadow. Uh, once again, I sure appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.